Hello everyone, I am Deepak Kunyal. I welcome you to the series of object oriented programming with C++. In previous tutorial we have seen that there are multiple features of object oriented programming like encapsulation, data hiding, data abstraction, inheritance and polymorphism. We also presented some example along with them. So in this lecture we are going to see the first C++ and C program. We will find out some differences and see the basic concept around them. So let us start now. Okay, so in any program when we start writing first program, we generally start by writing hello world program. Even in this case we are going to do so. So here we will write first C program and then we will convert that to C++ and see the differences. So the first line in any C program is generally this include stdo dot h which is a header file and any line that starts with this hash is called preprocessor directive and these lines are preprocessed by preprocessor and this header file means standard input output and this header file is used for input output purpose like uh, taking input from the user or uh, printing output on the console second line that we are going to write here is int main so it means main is the function anything that has uh, braces around it is function and what is written before that is called return type of that function so here in this case it means that we are going to return integer value and when we start printing something in C we write print function and then we pass some argument along with it and put double quotes around it and at the end as this function is going to return integer we need to write return 0 if this function returns 0 that means execution is successful right but in this program we can omit this statement because as the execution reaches at this line operating system understand or compiler understand that program program has been executed successfully and it automatically returns 0 right so let us just know about this main function so if your if your C program has only one function that should be main so this is the main function right within its name is main it's a keyword but it is actually a main function and every program should start with it now let us start converting this program to C++ program so the first line that we are going to write in C++ is header file again but there is a little difference we have to write IO stream don't put dot h along with it this double slash is comment so anything you are writing here will not be executed by the compiler so I stream means input output stream and this is also for taking input from the user and printing something on the console another line is similar to the C and it also means the same so we will not discuss it, discuss it last line is also same return 0 and you can also omit this line but when you want to print something you have to use C out and in front of this you have to write std and double colon you can omit this thing at later stage when we will use a namespace std but at this point of time we are not using that so you can keep using it and then you have to write hello world
inside double quotes right so this was the first C program and this is first C++ program right if you want to this this was single line comment right so if you want to provide a multi line comment you have to use one slash and then star you can write anything inside this and it will be treated as comment right so this is multi line comment if you want to give a new line here in C then you have to write before the double co uh, double quotes and you have to write slash n similarly in C out you have to write slash n or you can also change this statement and write another one std C out hello world and then again again the same operator which was which is also called left shift operator but here as we are doing operator overloading this operator has some different name that we will discuss in next lecture because we have another operator also that is used for input purpose and here we can use std double colon endl and this will also give us a new line so we can run these programs just start doing that ok so let us start by creating a C file write header file first then a simple program int main then you can write printf statement and you can write return statement here you have to give a new line then write this if you want to compile this file use gcc compiler and there is some problem here problem is because I have written print and that is wrong I have to write printf and as you have seen there is a linker error that means it could not find out it could not link that print function now again try to compile this program and it is compiled now do ls and you will see that there is a dot out file and here is the output of that right and we have already developed another program in previous lecture so I will open hello.cpp and you can see it here right I will just compile it for the sake of completion let us first remove that file so that you don't feel cheated now you can see G++ hello dot cpp and the file is compiled now again you can see the output by running a dot out and here is the output of this program right I can remember one thing that I want to tell you and let us do it now so when you are saving a C file and C++ file there are some differences in the extension so in C file we generally save it with dot C it is a small c and when we are saving header files it is with dot h right but in C++ we have multiple extension and we can use them dot cpp dot cc dot capital C dot cxx and dot C++ similarly for the header files I can use dot hh dot h even one dot h we we can also use that and dot h pp and the last one h plus plus right so these are multiple extensions that you can use for your c plus plus program but we generally use this one 
right so there is nothing wrong in using one and another and now I can show you again that how you push the file to the github git status and you can see there are two files I want to remove a dot out because I do not want to push that file now you can see only one file is there git add hello.c now again if you see the status you will find that file in green and you can commit it now with a message first c and c++ program or I can write for C program only because I have pushed C++ program already now you need to push it and you will see this file in github now alright so I think this this is enough for this lecture in the next lecture we will covering more concepts till then thank you so much